how to convert a Microsoft Word uh, test into a D2L quiz. And in this case, I'm going to simply add um, these five um, multiple choice questions plus three uh, short answer essay questions, just static. So I'm not going to shuffle them. I'm not going to have a small, like maybe pick three out of the five or anything. I'm just going to make it a simple test the way it is in Microsoft Word. And the tool I'm going to be using is the Carleton University Brightspace Quiz uh, Question Generator. Uh, the link is in the description. And I'm going to type in a quiz name. I just want to show you what they're expecting as uh, the, the sample types. So the multiple choice, what they're expecting is a number, uh, a dot, and either a space or a tab, and then the question text all in one paragraph. And um, also the options will have a letter and a bracket and then a space. And then the asterisk is in front of the correct number. And then if you have more than one question, there's a space between the two questions. And then for the essay question, then it's a space and it's a number dot space and then the question all in one paragraph. So I'm just going to clear this, uh, these fake questions. And then I'm going to go back to my Microsoft Word document. I can see that I need some editing here. These are dots after the letters instead of brackets. So I need to go to each one and make it. And you might think I can just use a uh, format painter, but I've yellowed out my, um, I've yellowed out the correct answers and I don't want to use that, lose that yellow formatting. And I, and I can't put an asterisk in front of the letter because in Microsoft Word, you can only type in front of the answer, not the letter. So I'm going to have to wait and copy and paste this um, into the test generator before I um, put the asterisks in. Then, um, remember there needs to be a space between them. I can either put them in afterwards, which I'm going to do for other ones, but if you want to put in the Microsoft Word one, I can't just hit enter because that will create a new letter. So what I can do instead is hold down the shift key and hit enter. That will um, make a space. But I'm going to do the rest actually when I copy it over. Um, and so I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go control A um, and then copy, control C and control V. Now, um, I'm going to get rid of the word midterm because the very first thing should be the first number and there's a space. So I'm going to put the spaces with, between the other numbers. And then I'm going to make only one space between the essay questions. If there's more than one, you, you will get an error. And then with the correct answers, I'm going to put an asterisk in front of them. And then I'm going to click on generate test questions. The fact that they're all green means that it's done correctly. If something wasn't done correctly, like let's say I forgot to put a answer here, then it would be pink. And if I moused over it, it would tell me what the problem is. In this case, there's no correct answer. Um, and then I can click uh, generate test questions. It'll all be green. And now a button will appear that will allow me to download. And now I can go into manage quizzes. And where I'm in, in quizzes is assessments quizzes. I make a new quiz. I'm going to call it midterm. And I'm, I can set dates if I want. So if I want to set this, um, the date. And, and when it starts to become available that day, let's say my test is at uh, 10 a.m. And it goes till um, 11 a.m. I'm going to show it on the calendar. I'm just going to make this also uh, 11 a.m. Um, you actually don't technically need a due date um, if you have a start and end date. Um, I'm just going to have one. And then I go add existing and upload from a file. 
and I can drag and hear the file. It's in my downloads up here. There it is, a question. I'm going to import all of them. It gives it a standard of one point each, but actually for my three uh, essay questions, they're worth um, uh, five points each. So I'm going to go more actions, set points to five point each. And so that gives a total of 20 points, and that's what goes here automatically. And it's right now it's not in the gradebook, but I'm going to um, add it to the gradebook. If I already had a column, I'm going to go edit link or existing, and I actually do have a, a column for mine, so I'm going to link it to the column that's already been made. Otherwise, I just use create, and then okay. And then um, I'm going to decide is there a time limit, and in this case there is. So I'm going to set the time, and it's 60 minutes. I'm going to set the timer settings, and the default is that they could start at any time, like even half an hour late, but they still get their 60 minutes when they start. Or I could have it synchronous, saying uh, it starts at 10 and it ends at 11 o'clock, and everybody is clicked, kicked out at 11 o'clock. If you start half an hour late, then you only get half an hour. And this is really helpful for exams. And then the default is to automatically submit the quiz um, when that time runs out. You can choose other ones saying, you know, allow it, allow them to go over, but you'll know how long they went over. But I'm going to do automatic. And then um, the, the default is only allowed once. If this was a practice quiz, um, I would say uh, as many times as they want to or a certain number of times, but I'm just going to keep it at that. And then, and, and by the way, if there is a password, I could type in a password there that could be used by a proctor if, if they're uh, going to accommodation or something like that. That's an option. And then down in evaluation and feedback, this is setting to auto publish. And I actually don't want that. I want to choose when I publish. Um, and when I do publish, I want to synchronize it with the gradebook. So I'm going to put a check mark there. Um, if you did a practice quiz that you want to auto-publish, that's a good reason to use this. And then when it does publish, I don't want them to see what questions they got right or wrong. I have a couple of students who are writing it later, accommodation students that I set uh, in um, here in availability dates uh, and conditions managed special access. I'll, I'll, um, in fact, well, I'll do that right now. I'm just going to save what I've done so far and manage the special access because I have one student who uh, gets double time. That's already set somewhere else. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and they are writing the next day. And it goes from 10 till noon. And so I don't want the students who take it the first day to show the answer to, to this student. Save that, save and close. And so I'm going to leave it at. Um, down in evaluation and feedback as that they, they can see no questions. But I eventually do want them to see the answers. And so I'm going to click on Customize Quiz uh, Results and Display. I'm going to leave the primary view alone, which is uh, don't show any answers. But I'm going to add an additional view that after the first, so I'm going to go on the second, starting at the very beginning of the day, I'm going to allow them to see all the questions. I'm going to allow them to see what the correct answers were what they said the answers were. I'm going to allow them to see how many points they earned. So from some of the essay questions, they may only get four out of five. Um, I don't use standards or outcomes here, so I'm not going to use that. I could display the class average and the class grade. Make sure you hit Create and not just OK. Sometimes you don't see the Create button, and you just hit OK. That won't work. You have to scroll down to hit Create. And there it is. And then OK. And there it is. And then. Um, I'm going to make this not hidden. Uh, don't worry, they won't have access to it until the beginning time, the at 10 a.m., and then save and close. By the way, I could preview it myself to see what it's like from a student's perspective. If I click the down arrow and I hit preview, then I can hit this start quiz, and I can try it out. Sample, sample, sample. And submit the quiz. It says, are you sure you want to submit? Yes, I am. Submit. 
and it just says that I've been submitted. I don't see any answers here or anything, which is exactly what I expected. So I'm going to go done and exit the preview. And now my midterm is ready to go.